So in here I can also make it like that, turn it a bit like that, and then maybe. Hi guys and welcome back to Making Games with Unity. Remember the game that we published on Google Play Store? I'm planning to change it because yeah the gameplay is not that good and yeah I'm thinking of making it more challenging and yeah much more better. So right now I'm going to play it. So right now this is the current version of our game. Wait, play man! Alright so right now this is the current version of our game so right now yeah I know that you feel like you're already familiar with this kind of gameplay yeah yeah it's an endless runner now so right now as you can see my road is kind of curved so yes I'm using a plugin to do this so I'm going to show it to you on how that works so right now tools that I'm using is the curb road from asset store so if you want to use that, you can yeah buy it from there. So I'm just going to uh, show to you on how it works. So right now, yeah, I have, a, I have a cube here, right? And I can move left and right using the mouse. And now, if I want to make the horizontal curve, see? It's just turning magically like that. And then, woo! Oh my god! So yeah, and then I can also turn it on the other side. See the magic? It's so good, right? So yeah, if you want to create your own endless runner game, I think uh, if you want, if you want, you can buy this curve world tools from Asset Store, and yeah, it's really good. So in here, I can also make it like that, turn it a bit like that, and then maybe like that or like that. See, see the magic? It's like wow. <laughs> So it's, it's, it's increased the value of your game, it become more interesting and of course much much better. So right now, yeah, I can do that, I can do that, so, and then you can do it during runtime. So it can, you can have a value that changes when your character is already traveling that far. So right now, yeah, so going to stop now. And yeah, that's cool, right? So if you are interested to have the third world plugin, I'm going to put the description below. And yeah, maybe you will have a great fun using it to your project. And yeah, I think it's a good buy. So yeah, I hope that this might help you if you're making a endless runner game right now to add more values to your game and yeah, to make it more interesting for other player. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. If you want to uh, learn about Unity basics and C Sharp basics, you can check our other videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you always get updated when we upload a new video. And again guys, thank you for watching and see you on our next video. Goodbye guys!